In this video we're going to present Nanotron's virtual fencing solution to you. The demo system consists of two different device types. The first one is a tech, which is mobile and is to be contained within boundaries by using Nanotron's localization technology. The hardware of the tech consists of a SDM32 Primer 2 device. Additionally, it is equipped with a daughter board, which has a nanolock module and an external antenna on it. The other device type is the anchor. The tech needs to range with different anchors in order to compute its position with respect to the boundary. We use a custom dual antenna anchor integrated in the black enclosure. In order to demonstrate our system, we chose a private property. There is a house in the center of the area. The battery powered anchors are mounted on tripods. They are placed at arbitrary positions around the house. In the following test we use six anchors and set up one boundary around the house. Here we see two anchors on one side of the house. Now it is demonstrated how the system behaves when crossing the boundary repeatedly in the same area. The chosen boundary segment runs approximately along the front property border, which is at the level of the closed yard gate. On the right hand side you can see the pertaining boundary segment B2 to B3 and all other boundary points and anchors as computed by the system. Next, when the tech will start moving, its real-time position will be displayed with a blue cross if inside and with a red cross if outside the computed boundary. By following the up and down movement you can notice the resulting boundary transition point. It has an inward offset of about 1 meter. Looking at the data plot, it is obvious that the boundary crossing is consistent even after multiple runs. The same applies to the complete tech movement. Known anchor positions are a prerequisite for the computation of tech positions. The system computes anchor positions automatically, without the need of manual measurements or estimates. For this purpose, the tech asks the anchors to range with each other. The respective results of the ranging operations are listed in the tech display. After pressing the soft button another time, the measurements are repeated in the reverse direction. In some scenarios it is beneficial to use temporary anchor points in order to increase the localization accuracy for the wheel anchors. Temporary anchor points are set with a tag. In this scenario we use three temporary anchor points. The first temporary anchor point is set close to anchor A2. There, like at every other temporary anchor position, distances to all wheel anchors are measured. We walk to anchor A4 to set a further temporary anchor point. As is visible from the walk around the house, the present scenario constitutes a challenging environment for wireless systems. The house in the center, metal fence is close to two sides of the house, and the last vegetation caused signal paths to be obstructed or reflected. Eventually, the third temporary anchor point is placed next to anchor A5. The programmable boundary has a polygon shape. 
Its vertices or boundary points are also set with the help of the tag. For the present scenario, we define a boundary around the house by setting four boundary points. At each boundary point position, which is marked with the numbered flag, the distances to all real anchors are measured. Now all required data have been collected and the software can compute the positions associated with the employed anchors and the program boundary. Based on the anchor and boundary computations in the previous scenario, we can now repeat the boundary crossing experiment at the yard gate. Once again, the program boundary runs along the front property border. In comparison with the first experiment, we see that the tag does not traverse the same boundary polygon edge. This is due to a distortion in the anchor localization. Nevertheless, it is clear that the boundary is accurately recognized as programmed, which is along the property border even after repetitive movements. Hence, accuracy and consistency of the border functionality are confirmed. Next we go to the back side of the house to test the boundary segment B1 to B4. As can be seen from the data, the right boundary segment is crossed consistently. The resulting crossing point is about 2 meters away from the true boundary. In order to demonstrate the functionality of the virtual fence even with small form factor anchors, we replace each dual tenor anchor with two nanotags. The latter include a nanolock radio, an integrated antenna and a battery. Repeating the previous experiment at the gate with small anchors yields the same performance. In the next experiments, we revert the dual antenna anchors and place the two middle ones in line with their neighbors. Anchor A6 is placed between A1 and A5, and A3 between A2 and A4. This is a setup which was used for the first shown boundary crossing test. Movement and computed trace are shown here again. Clearly, boundary accuracy and consistency do not depend on a particular anchor layout. For the next experiments, we set up the six anchors in an irregular arrangement. Additionally, we marked eight positions at which boundary points are set as in the previous cases. The computed positions are shown in the plot. The boundary segments B1 to B2 and B3 to B4 are 2 meters apart. Segments B5 to B6 and B7 to B8 are only half a meter apart. Obviously, even boundary segments at short distances are resolved. Let us see if the tag is detected correctly in each boundary zone. The data replay indicates that the boundary alarm works right along the complete path. Forward and backward movement yield consistent results.
Last but not least, here's a short summary of what we have presented in the video. We demonstrated the operation of Nanotron's virtual fencing solution in a challenging RF environment. The tests yielded accurate and consistent results in terms of tech localization and boundary alarms. Additionally, performance was preserved even with small form factor devices and variable anchor setups. Finally, we pointed out the high resolution of boundary segments. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding our virtual fencing solution, please contact us at sales at